Hey, it's not often that I will tell you about a place that is, is so close to my heart, it's part of my DNA. Now, I don't know whether you know this about me, but my shags, you know, just ukambani. I come from Kemakyu. A lot of people call it Kemakyu, but I come from Kemakyu. Now, the one thing you ought to know is something I consider Ukambani's best kept little secret, and it's the Kilimakyu Manor. The Kilimakyu Manor is not just a beautiful, quaint getaway, and I'm gonna actually make sure there's tons and tons of pictures for you to see with this video. But I know that I got an email from them just the other day telling me that it's a sort of getaway that now is purely about accommodation. The minute you book in, it's yours. The food is awesome. The people are fantastic. But I think for me, my heart and my DNA goes to one thing, that the first time uh, my friends and I, um, you know, went away for the weekend and, you know, it was all of us and the kids, um, I got a call from Pat, and I won't say Pat's second name, and Pat told me, when you're there, please ask our people to show you the tree your grandfather planted. When you go to the Kilimakyu Manor, I don't know what part of history you're interested in, but a part of my soul is there because the lead mason that builds the Kilimakyu Manor was my grandfather. So the people at the Kilimakyu Manor will actually tell you that my name is Mutoko, not anything else you guys come up with. And the people of Kemakyu and Makuen in that area actually know who my grandfather was. But once again, why is it close to my heart? But because I didn't know about it until Pat told me. And then um, a year ago, actually two years ago, I sent my parents to go and spend their anniversary there. For me, it was important that my father was able to spend a night in the luxury and comfort of a place that he never believed he could afford to be in because that's where his father worked as a mason. So I will do very many reviews and I'll talk about very many places in this awesome country, but I don't believe any will have as much of my heart, soul and DNA as a Kilimanjaro manor. And I'm not just telling you to make sure you go there. The pictures speak for themselves. And incidentally, everything you see in the pictures is rubbish. The reality will blow you away. It really will. But the Kilimanjaro manor for me, and I have to say this to Pat and Rolf, thank you for acquiring it. Because it is important that a part of our history begins to revert to us. And what you have done is made sure that this part of history will be available for my daughter, my nephew, and for my parents and my family to have a little part of what my grandfather created be part of an experience they can have. So thank you. And for the rest of you, visit Kilimakyu Manor. Book ahead. They even plan your menu ahead. Don't even joke with these people, they're organized. But it is a getaway like nothing else. And I say this as a Kenyan who has experienced a good part of this country, Kil Kilimakyu Manor is special. It really is. And go and see the tree my grandfather planted, please. Okay, thank you.